Hey everybody, how you doing today? Superfiend here. Welcome back to our Warhammer 2 uh, Mortal Empires Ungrim Iron Fist Legendary Campaign. Uh, last episode, we had a bit of a, um, you know, unfortunate series of battles down here. It wasn't Thrawny, it was somebody else. There was a Thane in his army too. Uh, they're both dead. And it does look as if the Major Dwarf faction has moved in this way. Now, whether they are coming after Queek or Kemri... Talk, then. Uh, remains to be sure. seen. They could be after either or. And I believe when we roll the dice here and like it goes on to the AI moves that the dwarves move before both these factions. So it's possible uh, that if we do nothing, it's possible that if we do nothing uh, with Deldrick here, that um, the dwarves may come wipe this guy out. But then we got these two Tomb King armies, and they can both get up here to Valaya Sara. So I'm kind of thinking we should retreat back away from Valaya Sara. I don't think it's a very good place for us right now. Uh, what we can also try to do... Let's try to block Queek. Ah, we keep failing the, uh, the agent actions. Uh, let's try, let's see. This guy's level 20. This guy appears level 8. Let's try to block this guy. And let's see if we can... Man, you guys. Like, get it together. Block them. Everything I needed you to do, you did not do. Put a point into whatever that was. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to just ban this army. Oh, this guy, he's just... He's no good. And boop, just like that. 3,000 more per turn. We are earning 30,000 um, income per turn. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, we need... We need garrison buildings down here. Uh, ooh, we have... We have this, huh? It is time. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're earning so much money. We are earning so much money. We're going to go ahead. We're going to drop that we don't need that right now or uh casualty replenishment 10 percent. yeah we're gonna want to hang on to that for now okay let's see if we can't go out here and finish off queek with this army see how we do here really really no i refuse to believe that this is correct i refuse i refuse to believe it We don't have any war machines. We do have the, the gyrocopter, though. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's go. Uh, hmm. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I like that. Yeah, put these guys there. Uh, gyrocopter's like so... Oh, yeah, we got this unit of hammers. Where's our other Slayer unit? Like, over here, protect the flank. We get two units of Giant Slayers in here. Or, you know what? These guys... Let's uh, let's set these guys back here. And let's go a little bit further back with our Corlers. And then we'll go there. 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 Miners with Blasting Charges right behind them. And then we got our Thunderers. We don't have the world's greatest firing arcs right here because they're, you know, we can't quite see over the crest of this hill. But right as they come over the top, they're just going to get absolutely nailed. And let's see. I want to be careful of the Death Globe Bombardiers. What is that? Okay, that thing's not going to last very long. I go up here and get the Rat Ogres. How much damage are we going to take to these things? Oh, we outranged them, so that's uh, that's good for us here. Slayers. These are regular Slayers. The oh, let's go out there. Yes. Nothing can stop us. For the Cutters and Go! That's an interesting spot to spawn them. Yeah, let's try to get rid of these rat ogres. These guys are going to intercept the doom will. 
as well these guys over here Kill them. Yes. Slayers out there. Slayers out there. Slayers. Range far, range fast. Charge. Attack We're gonna go straight into those storm vermin. Nothing can stop us. Dino cocktail. Blow through. Go. Anu. That thing get dead yet? No, not yet. Boom! Boom! Get up there. Come on, bring it. Bring it! What is this? Slayers. Okay, regular Slayers. Move yeah, get in there. Take them down. Shoot all that stuff over there. Get them. Everything here is getting blown up with the bombs. Okay, let's send our, uh, our Slayers back out this way. Chase down all this stuff. Get some surrounds on them. Okay, just keep dropping all that. Now we're going to lose uh, one unit of Slayers out here, I think. Let's go get on those guys. Okay. Let's see how quickly they crit crush. Boom. Tank their morale. Tank their morale. This unit's almost dead, though. Oh, and we're taking a bunch of missile fire right into our backs there. Not good. Not good for us. Yes. Nothing can stop us. Okay. Strike Come back up this way. Let's start shooting all the uh, missile the units that the Skaven have. Okay. Break these guys. Those guys are almost broken. Okay, all we have to do is charge in this way. Let's get out of here with the gyrocopter. There it comes. Dude, Deldrick. Queek is just massacring you. Let's get you on the storm vermin instead. Go. Everything over here is broken. Bring our thunderers out now. Okay, as soon as uh, as soon as Queek dies, we're gonna get in here and get on Queek. Charge in with the miners. Charge back in with Deldrick. And then we'll pop our buff right as he gets there. There we go. Come up with our Iron Breakers. Queek dead yet? We're doing good. These guys got a ton of ammunition left, though. Queek is beastly. What a beast. There it goes. And he was in a forced march stance. So Queek is destroyed. Uh, Deldrick might be destroyed, though, because we got Tomb Kings from Camry barreling down on Velaya's Sorrow. 
Uh, I don't know if they have the movement to get around the corner and attack. They're both in a forced march stance. So I kind of feel like we don't want to put uh, Deldrick in the settlement. We want to give him the chance to like run away if he gets attacked. I don't know. Take that leadership. Boom. Queet goes down. Uh, what do we get? We uh, got a grudge removed. Okay, that's nice. Um, bonus versus infantry. Plus six. My axe thirsts for war. My servant fails me. So in a force march, like, he can just get there. He's got to go all the way around. And same with this guy. Like, he can barely get there. So what it really hinges on is can this army make it all the way here? And I'm going to gamble and say that they can't. So we're going to hole up in here. And we're going to get... Um, By the will. Onward. Two units of Slayers. Okay. We're going to gamble. We're betting that he can't make it. Then we're going to go ahead and upgrade that for the extra replenishment. We need another army over here, though. Like, we could bring it in right here. Ah, I don't want to do that. Let's get a nice, uh, good lord. Leadership plus two, all units. Ambush success chance plus ten. Ooh, poison attack. Kind of interesting. You know what? Let's do him with the poison attack. Okay, can I put him in the settlement, please? Thank you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just go straight into the red line stuff. Corlers, Thunderers, and Vigor. We're already recruiting two units. We get lots of money. All right, we're going to get... Uh, where'd they go here? By the Okay, that's a good start for him, plus nine uh, units straight away. Oh. What can we give this guy? Like an excellent ward save would be nice. We got a lot of oath gold. He's got a 15% ward save there. That's pretty good. That's that breath attack item, which is absolute trash. And then in here. I'm just not seeing anything that's all that spectacular. All right, let's do some uh, magic resist, and I guess just some leadership. Okay, then let's go into the forge. Let's get this guy some nice high tier armor. Okay. Uh, so let's see, a ward save, 12% damage resist when he's under 50%. Twelve percent. Missile magic resist. All right, I guess we're gonna do the iron warden shield. That's his armor. Weapon. Let's get him a nice weapon. Uh, that's when fight nails. This is perfect vigor. Chilling aura. Dragon slayer's axe. Passive. You know what? Let's get him that. So really, this guy kicks in the um, 
beast mode when he gets under 50% health, right? So. And then we could give him this melee defense plus armor. You know what? Let's give let's give him this uh no, that's not it. Where to go? Was it this one? What was I just looking at? I don't know, where'd it go? This. So 30% fire resist. And then if his hit points is Yeah, okay, well. What? Oh, I'm missing salt. Never mind. I can't get that one. I'm a dummy. Armor piercing, vanguard. Oh, what do we need for this guy? I'm not that excited about any of these. I need something good against Tomb King. This would have been nice. Considering everything else he has. Um. Okay, Prospector's Charge. Fine. A little bit of physical resist and whatnot. Okay, Enchanted Items. We got any good stuff in here? Unbreakable. Immunopsychology. Look at Fortification. 33% physical resist. 12% speed if he's losing combat. We're going to send that guy straight in. Okay, now where is he? He's right here. Was it this one? Was it no? Uh, Iron Beard bracers, yeah. So this guy's gonna have some damage resist, some damage buff, and yeah, uh, he needs to be losing combat, and he needs to be under fifty percent health though, uh, which makes me nervous because I I feel like uh, this this is Kazadni. Because he had any stone heart. He's also got poison attacks. So we basically need to charge him into overwhelming odds. What and and then he gets his benefits, right? So we got to, like, play real risky with him, which I'm not that big of a fan of. Now, in Valaya Sorrow, we do have a little bit of a garrison here. So if they can make it up here, you know, we might stand a I... small chance. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Let us begin. Uh, let's get the gyrocopter, I guess. All right. Rurik, continuing south. Okay. Uh, then this guy up here. Which, as soon as he gets down in here, we got to start recruiting some rangers. Because he is a rune lord. And so he does better with... Oh, I'm in a force march. Oops. Okay, so next turn, we got to take him out of force march. All right, Ungrim. How far can you go? So there. No. Makes me nervous. Lord of Clan Morgrim. It's not a very good garrison, but this is not a fort taking army. So I'm very skeptical. By the king's command. See if we can assault units. Uh, that's good. You know, every single agent action that I have performed has failed. Every last one of them. That can't be right. Uh, I think we're just going to leave Largs where he is. And... This will fail. I think we need an army of slayers to just, like, slam into these guys. So we need a suicidal lord. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad whoever this is going to be. Um, okay, Cobalt, it's you. We're not going to give you any items. We're going to give you all of this stuff, though. And we're just going to load this guy up with Slayers. And just slam him. Uh, right into this army. Yes. 
with probably uh, spectacular results. Oh, right here. Let's um, let's build that. And then uh, let's keep these guys moving this way. Arcane winds under control. Dwarves. Uh, oh, our relationship is improving. Ooh, goody. Me. A wise direction. Uh, what do we got going back here? Plus eight. Over a quarter. Spend 2,000. A bazillion turns until we can do anything here. Upgrade. I will leave that the way it is. Upgrade and 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 trinkets. All right. So I'm hoping the dwarves. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. They're um, they're putting themselves into prime. Prime position to uh, fend off Camry. Let's see what happens. Okay. And I just want to see what else the uh, the AI does here with the rest of these moves. Hex Swaddle, another uh, large faction that is on good terms with us. And we probably could get like a um, military alliance or something with, but I fear that they're going to butt heads with the Wood Elves. Uh, we are allies with the Last Defenders, and if they could just like get their get their act together and come over here and take this one settlement, uh, then they could probably start uh, flinging their might around against Kemri and buy us some uh, breathing room with the Tomb Kings down there, but they, they just, they can't seem to break out past this one little settlement right here that has all this undead attrition. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we're not going to fight this, I don't think. No, we need to be stronger. So Clan Moore is building up their strength back here. Dude, they just wrecked that whole settlement. So again, we can assume that Clan Rictus has most of this coastline and northern territory. All right, let's see if, if they're going to fling themselves at us. Here they go again, pushing down into the last defender's territory. No, they don't have the movement. Okay, good. So, Grombrindal may go down and attack that force, uh, which would be nice. Leave us out of it. What we need is just a little bit of breathing room so we can kind of get down here and... Oh, darn. I was going to say, though, if we could get down here and like raise this and raise this, then the, the last defenders would go ahead and take them over and then they would have a good attacking point to start filtering in here to where Kimri is. But until we can get like out of this up here and get down over there, it's just not gonna happen. Okay, he's been wounded, beastmen are coming. Caused an earthquake at Carrick Eight Peaks, so okay. Oh, dude, it knocked it down a level. Son of a... Son of a gun. For the wisdom of Valea. For the wisdom mm, of Valea. Man. Ah, no. Need my warp token stash. Why do you gotta be, like, right up in my face, dude? It is time. It is time. 
No, you failed, failed. And see if we move up here. And then they attack us first. Um, they'll get that ambush battle. And then we could get counterattacked by King Ispoth. Ispoth. You know, it just really depends on what Grumbrindal is going to do. We can't count on him to really do anything. He could come over here and strike this army. He could come down here and attack this army. He could just turn around and go north, right? We don't know what he's going to do. Um, and uh, let's see. The dwarves move first. So if we leave the settlement and the dwarves, like, you know, let's say they go after the tomb kings. And then the Skaven take Velayasar. Well, we can counterattack next turn and get it back with two armies while they're still sitting in the settlement. Or we stay where we are and, you know, we have the garrison of Velayasar to help us out. It's really, it's a tough call. Uh, I think what we're going to do, we're going to stay in the settlement. He's in an underground move. One rug. So, I think if we come up to, like, right here, we'll encamp. Okay, and then we will get, um... This guy's a lord. So, we want to get some corlers. Oh, now it's uh, two turns to recruit. Why was it only one turn? Okay, a bunch of slayers. So, that's that's as much as we could do right there. Uh, we're not going to move Deldrick. He's going to stay where he is. Hope for the best. It's a bunch of shades. I must fulfill my slayer oath. Denied. The slayer in me sees death. Seek our doom. Yes, my oath is okay. intact. Yeah, what are these guys doing? The throng is musty earth will pay. But he is finally got a successful down. agent action. There's an army around here somewhere, Dark Elves. I think they swung south, but Vengeful Rune Lord. You know, without being able to see them. I unwilled. If we come up just a little bit and go to here, we might be able to encamp with Ungrim and then underground move uh, into reinforcement range. And that would get us like all the way there. Okay, 17,000 left in our coffers. So we'll spend and spend. Uh, let's go to where this guy is. Let's get some Rangers in his army, take him out. Uh, Forest March. Where are they at? Oh, I'm in the wrong settlement. Okay. Um, well. You know what? Let's get, uh... Let's get... Grudge Thrower, Cannon, Organ Gun... Three units of iron breakers maybe we'll get two grudge throwers and then uh and then we'll get a bunch of um rangers from over at castle temple hop I lied. what can i do oh gosh please Gold give this to me yes yes good uh so we don't have to worry about being attacked by the tomb kings we do have to be worried about being attacked by renamute renamute whatever his name is Using guild roots. Okay. No. You dare. My anger burns bright. My anger burns bright. Blah, 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 blah. Casting the roots. Okay, a bunch of slayers. Uh, we're not going to spend all of our money on settlement upgrades right now. We're going to save a little bit of it. Because essentially we need to like suicide at least one army. 
and then do some more uh, more recruitment after we suicide that force. And just do as much damage as we can to the Skaven. I mean, look at this. He's got a good army, right? Like, literally, all he needs to do is stop being a dummy and sitting where he gets attrition. Like, go into an encampment stance, get your replenishment back, and then recruit some stuff. Good grief. Okay, they're going to go all the way to the frozen city. Okay, well. Can't say we didn't see that coming. And they've wounded our engineer. Buggers. Oh, he's gone into an ambush stance. Okay. Hopefully we discover him. Cetra, the imperishable, level 40. You know he's going to be strong. He put everything into the yellow points, too. So he's going to be just an absolute beast. Good job, Krokar. Because you won't just, like, recruit some units. You moron. I hope those beastmen are at war with the dwarves. Keep them busy. Okay, hinder replenishment. Wound. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we discovered the uh, the Skaven ambusher. Ha 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 ha. Eastern Badlands. That's gonna be Carrick Eight Peaks. Uh -huh, okay. Lord of Clan Morgren. If you say so, Beardling. Okay. Oh, what do we do with this? We're still earning sixteen thousand per turn. You waste my time. Okay. I do. Can we seriously just walk right by this city? Oh my gosh, I think we can. Huh? That's funny. What is this foolishness? That's funny. Vengeful rune lord. Vengeful rune lord. You waste hmm. my time. I answer to clan and hold. Yeah, let's try to assault units again and just by see if we get lucky. Command. Very good. Arcane winds, runes of spite and death. Ooh. Guildmaster, income of trade. Ah, oh, forget that. Let's go with the research. I am the Slayer King. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of shades. That's a lot of shades. What? So here's what we're gonna do. Onward. We're gonna lay siege with Ungrim. Awfully laggy up here. Okay, we're gonna encircle. And then uh, we're gonna bring this guy up. <laughs> Casting the runes. So we can bring him all the way back this way. So he made it all the way. Good. That does not put the balance of power much further into our favor. We'll fight this, though. So they got a ton of missile units. Like, tons of missile units. It's all shades with dual weapons. Uh, but if we can put our heroes, like, in the midst of all this stuff and then just get them with the flame cannons, if our reinforcements come on on the same side... Uh, good enough for government work. So we're going to want to uh, take a position here. Slayer! Put our uh, slayers in the trees. Okay, 
Okay, so basically like that. Hey, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Okay. For the ancestors, vengeance. Pick your targets well. Stop. Strike out. Strike out. Look at that. We are just melting the shades. Oh my goodness. And then they're going to stop and they're going to fire at Ungrim and whatnot and get absolutely nowhere. No faffing about. Come on, shoot all this stuff back here, please. Oh my god, the flame cannon is going to absolutely melt these guys. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Shoot those guys. Let's go sit in the water. Uh, turn on defensive mode. Yeah, let's go after the uh, witch elves. Yes. Lame cannon. Armor. Resist. Oh, yeah, they're just getting slaughtered. What's going on over here? Oh, my goodness. Look at the beautiful... What happened to the fire that went up there? It just totally disappeared. Uh, let's go kill the Lord. Lord's dead. Oh my gosh, these things are just getting absolutely shredded by the flame cannons. Beautiful. Bring our lords back this way. Everything over there just fled. No. I clicked on these guys, I'm pretty sure. No. Did it again. Oh, dead I'll get him. Kill us. Yeah, they've got us enraged over here. More flame cannon shots coming in. I wish that it like made more burning on the ground and stuff. They're broken. Like our slayers over here took a little bit of damage. I love it. Oh, 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 we got some. Oh, my goodness. Flame cannons. Shoot quickly. Watch what happens to this stuff. Oh, my gosh. Watch what happens when the flame cannon shots start coming in here. Here they come. Oh, it's almost as deadly as the Queen Bess in the Vampire Coast DLC. Oh, man. Everything over there just fled. It just turned tail. All this stuff is now moving right into all the Coraler range. Yeah, that's the battle there. Just massive artillery and firepower on that one. That was a lot of fun. Uh, now, however, they are probably going to turn around and, like, take away that minor settlement with their army that's got the dragon and the black guard and all that stuff. Not looking forward to that because uh, once they take that settlement, that's going to give them an open field into our newly acquired territory. 
up here on the frozen coastline. They did no damage. Look at that. We lost 24 units. Sleep with one eye open. We'll occupy it. It'll give us our uh, replenishment. Morgul killed in battle. Province secured. Armor plus 10. Turn taxes off. Keep taxes off. Okay, and then the Palace of Rune. We'll build that. So this army, which now uh, is going to sit here, hopefully, because they have to replenish. The goddess forbids it. What is this foolishness? They can get all the way down to here, maybe, maybe. Armed and ready. And then so this army will be the one that needs to like hold this uh, down for us up there. Okay. Well. Who's this? It's a clan and hold. Yeah, bring this guy. I have the uh, bring this guy. Glowing. Lord of clan Borgrim. Uh, one turn so we can get something that requires one turn of recruitment. Oh, you know what? Mm. We'll do troll hammer torpedoes. For war. All right. The country is, is disappointed. All right, do we go after this guy or what? Because um, they're coming. They're going after this. God, these these jerks. Get out of here. Go, go Wrong kill this instead. That's what I need you to go do. For the wisdom of Valaya. This. <laughs> Summon me if you and then we got all this up here is just brewing away. Okay, we can get walls on Valaya's Sorrow if we can hold on to it for just a few more turns. will be settled. We march. Get over here. Time for a reckoning. My axe run. Do we have the movement? Please say we do. Yes. Hmm. Unto glory to the ancestors. That's not good. By the grudge bearer's will. All right. Well, we pushed him into a, a spot where he's taking some attrition. So at least, at least there's that. Uh, let's see. Moving. We're still just um, trespassing everywhere we go with him. Will binds me to you. I want to get these armies. Out of here, ASAP. It do us no good up here. Uh, building this isn't going to give us any more income buildings. Uh, I think we want that. Uh, okay, I guess we'll finally uh, go down this gem cutters of city and quarries. We've almost got the whole tech tree filled out. Oh, yeah, and then we're going to have a rebellion over here. Darn, 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 darn. Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's get this guy because he's got the 20% enemy hero action success chance, and we are being completely inundated by these enemy heroes over here. Get that. That. Um, hurt their magic. Okay. Uh, Rune Lord. Bunch of rangers. Do we got any uh, one turn global recruitment down here? Slayers. Okay, so we are we are stacking. Yes, thank you, thank you. He wiped out Camry. He left Crooked Fang Fort alone, so that means that we could possibly still acquire that. Because I want to get the whole settlement of Caracate Peaks. 
And the dwarves haven't declared war on us yet. So. Uh, now nah, I get out of here. Luan, Luan. Uh, so anyways, the dwarves haven't declared war on us yet. So we may... We may squeak out of this campaign without a war with the dwarves. If we had war with the dwarves right now, it would... Um, it would probably be somewhat catastrophic. And probably the only reason they're not declaring war is because we just brought a bunch of armies, or two more armies are, like, on their way down. Now, see, look at Krakar here. He's got this whole force. Now, look what he's going to do. He's going to go walk up in here and take a, a, a buttload of attrition and not take the settlement because he's just too stupid to use an encamp stance or a raiding stance or whatever the heck the lizardmen have at their disposal. Um, that prevents them from taking attrition. Oh, he's going further north. He's going to go um, push his way up there. Ha 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 ha. So we might be able to take an army and... Um, And go get Crooked Fang Fort. I'd like to. I'd like to be able to do that. And the Beastmen. We got to look at these Beastmen and see if they're at war with the dwarves. Oh, we have staved off our rebellion by a turn. Damage walls, Karakate Peaks. Whoop de doo. That plan scheme is discordant. The throng agrees. As the High King commands. No. Alright, this is risky. But we're going for it. It's risky because it puts us right down here at the Tomb Kings. So I don't necessarily let like that move but the wisdom of the uh, let's see okay Master of Runecraft. now if we put this guy all the way up here and they attack and they get their ambush then we'll immediately lose this army so i don't really want to do that i think we'll leave it where it is and we'll get some whoa we're losing money uh-oh Okay, we need to get that under control. So I've recruited too much. My anger burns bright. These guys, they stayed right Wait where they are. The Success. Ooh, that's bad news for these guys. Where's Ungrim? What? Uh, to die in battle. Vengeful Rune Lord. It's as good as done. How many breaches? Like, this whole settlement just got demolished. Yes. Okay. Oh, I got a point. Dun, 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 dun. Game of walls. I... Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna attack with large. Okay. The and then we'll bring Ungrim up. Okay, we got too many armies right now. Uh, this guy was going to suicide somewhere, so let's... Um... No, not attrition. Crap. All right, you know what? Forget it. There, now we're at positive 5,000. I must fulfill my Slayer Oath. Someday! Okay, so raising that army and recruiting a bunch of slayers, I would have liked to have used it the way I said I was going to use it, but um, we need we need the we need the extra forces down there at Carrick Apex more than we need them up here, um, where we're fighting Nagarond. And um, I, you know, part of the reason we recruited them is because it did look like there was a dark elf army that was in the water as transports that might have gone that way, but they swung south, and 
you know, once we get rid of this force right here, I think Ungrim and Largs can pretty much take care of this. Where are the wall breaches? Over here. Uh, let's see. I guess we do that. And I guess we do that. Okay. And then Largs. I'll just put him right there. He can absorb some of the um, tower fire. Who did we forget? Unit of Slayers. Uh -huh. We've been spotted by the enemy. Oh no. Uh, let's knock out that tower first. Because I have a feeling these guys, once they start firing over the walls, will take care of everything that's on the other side there. Okay, Largs is our general. No, Largs is our general. Okay, which unit is this? Why did it stick that unit way over there? That's just stupid. Yeah, okay, get up there, Ungrim. Oh, man, the flame cannons did pretty decent damage for that thing. They're not doing any damage to us over here, hardly. Okay, are our rangers effective at all? Yeah, we'll just let our rangers expend their ammo. We got Ungra moving up. Pretty good damage on those. Knock out that other tower. Man, those flame cannons are doing massive damage. Look at that. Holy cow. Okay, hopefully the corallers melt anything that gets on the walls up there fast. I wonder how much damage the flame cannons will do to the feral mana core. Okay, those guys are broken on the wall up there. Gates at 12%. That is I wonder if they can hit the Charybdis without uh, running into the settlement. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? It looks good. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, Charybdis. See you later. Hey, bringing more stuff up onto the walls here that these guys will just obliterate. Not doing any real damage to that thing. Uh, let's shoot the dark shards up on the wall. We got a good amount of ammunition left. Large is taking a little bit of damage, not much. Should be a pretty easy battle overall. Get some black guard. And black guard. Okay, are you guys just not firing? What are you doing? Okay, 
Okay, good damage over here. Shoot the Corsairs. Uh, I wonder if I could hit just on the ground back here. He's taking the most damage. Uh, slayers, regular slayers. Okay, a couple there. A couple there. A couple there. Giant slayers coming through. Doing over here. Stuff's breaking slowly. Let's shoot the death hag. No, I'd prefer if you guys did not go up the wall. Ooh, we got a big daddy over here. They're hitting us with their bolt throwers. Oh, hello. Send in our miners. Lots of bolt action over here. Hard to say if they're doing a lot of damage to us, though. Yeah, some of our slayers are getting a little bit banged up. All right, now somewhere in here is a big monster. There it is. Okay, Ungrim and company coming in. Let's get into the uh, Dread Knights. Those guys are out of here. Nothing could stop us. Okay, send Largs in. Oh, uh, we need to get him in there before we lose that unit. Ungrim and company just charging in, no problem. Oh my gosh, we're getting annihilated by the bolt throwers, though. All of our slayers. Oh my goodness, they're just getting rocked. Ouch. What about Largs? Is he in combat yet? You just need to get him over here. Dragon. Kill them. It is a reckoning. Our sorceresses are at work. Hey, puzzle. No, just need to push onto the bolt thrower before all of our slayers are dead. Come up with our corollars. Come on, get up here. He's not doing good. Quickly now. Well. Take him. Pull out. Get our bombs. Pull back with Largs. 
Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. We're pretty much uh, just annihilating everything back here. And that's the settlement. I think that's the battle right there. Yep. So, how many of our Slayer units are completely dead? And how many do we just need to replenish is the question. Okay, that was a long looting stream. We've lost our ranger, our Bugman's rangers. No, we lost one. Uh, we keep all the slayers, though. And they have good good replenishment in Ungram's army. Okay. So, let's see. I must fulfill my slayer oath. All right, I need a Bugman's. Oh, good. I can get one right here. Perfect. I grow restless. Very well. This may work. And with Ungram. You need a Slayers. And you know what? Boop. No. One more unit of Giant Slayers. These guys are going to replenish so fast. Doesn't matter. Uh, we've already got the, the high-level public order building. And the second-level garrison building there. So, next turn, we want to send these guys down this way and scout this out. Uh, if we could get this, and then, I don't know, maybe declare peace? Maybe? And they come over and start working on these runes? Because I bet you this is all Clan Skyre, these runes. Okay, over here. Man, we're still heading heading down with these guys. Um, okay, so we got some Camry settlements over here. Uh, it's really hard to say. I think we're going to send this guy Moving. off this way. You know, it's all it's all fog of war over there. We don't know what's going on. <laughs> I wanted to see if they were at war at the dwarves. For the wisdom of Balea, let us begin. What? Um. Yeah. Okay. Right here. We were gonna recruit. Whoops. More stuff with this guy, but then we were worried because we were negative per turn. Uh. So let's see. Let's get. Let's just get a, a solid front line of longbeards. And then up here. This guy's pretty good. So what we want to do next. Uh, you know what? Let's throw in uh, two units of giant slayers. And then we'll get five units of rangers. And that'll be uh, good for his force. Okay. Seems reasonable. Uh, we're going to be we're gonna be up here babysitting this for freaking ever. Forever. Let's at least turn the taxes on. By the king's command. Virgin boats. Balea's will. Okay, we got reinforcements with our heroes. And we could recruit more thanes. Maybe. I don't know. Not really that excited about like doing a bunch of agent actions every single turn. Where's our imminent rebellion right here? Carrick A Peaks, fine. Let's end our turn. Welcome to my throne. Oh no. They have ended their non-aggression pact with you. Uh-oh. So it was a trade agreement is what they ended last time, so. <sighs> Thorgrim, why you gotta be like that? 
We're kin. We're buddies. We're supposed to be good friends. Now, if he declares war on us, uh, we're going to call the Wood Elves to help. And hopefully they join in. I guess we should check and see if Durthu is considered reliable or not. All right, Krakgar. Go get yourself some attrition because you've got brain damage. There it is. Yep, excellent. What a dodo. Thanks. Talk fast. And big bad boy Malekith is begging for peace. Uh, assault garrison, assault garrison. Uh, damage walls. And they've got into an ambush stance. That's Queek. You're Queek is back. Welcome, so I won't... Tretch wants peace. Clan Rictus. Why did I call it Clan Skyer or Clan Skyer earlier? I don't know why. Clan Rictus. Oh. Tomb Kings aren't done with Krakar. They're going to push further in. We need to get down there and we need to relieve uh, Krakar if we can. How dare you duck in my hall? Oh. Uh, nope. Go away. Okay. What do we got? We have discovered Queek sitting right there. So... It's possible that both of these armies could take Queek. Uh, we're definitely going to want to build the uh, the garrison building, the walls there. We'll keep coming down with Rorik. And we'll swing this guy over and pick up five rangers. And then with uh, Ungrim and Largs. Let's see. Nagaron's trying to get back on their feet. This is another settlement that has uh, four. So if we can't, we, we want to just like push through all this if we can and get it. Um, I don't know if we want to declare any sort of peace with them because then what are we going to do with Largs and Ungrim up here, right? But like Nagarond is the best thing to fight unless we come this way and find a bunch of Skaven. Uh, let's see, let's get that all out of the way. And then uh, over here, I bet we can shrink this force down by a lot. Uh, get some money back. We just need a guy here to babysit for a little while. And make sure we don't get any more rebellions. In fact, if we uh, if we pop this army out, we can see how much it affects public order. Maybe we don't need anybody here at all anymore. Uh, maybe we just demolish this building and build a public order building. Uh, but everything else otherwise, except for Carrick 8 Peaks should be good with public order which means we can use all of our armies for the most part to fight our battles so uh maybe yes. finn iron will can make his way south also uh and that's all coming up in the uh, in the next episode when we come back let me know if you enjoyed this one with comments or thumbs up as always i'm enjoying it it's a fun campaign uh, i feel like we're approaching like we're a little bit past the uh, midpoint uh so we'll see how things continue and how quickly we can wrap it up uh, subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon and take care.